found it in my underwear, and I want to know how it got there. Please connect it to me. Connected. Are we well connected? <laughs> We're well acquainted, not well connected. <laughs> we are very well acquainted, aren't we? <laughs> old, old pals from way back. <laughs> from way back. Me and Dakota men behind the Oscars 1984. <laughs> Richard Gere came up to us with his dick out and he said he wants to do a dinger. Next thing you know, Bobby Orr walks in and sniffs the whole fucking line. <laughs> I love how anytime you do a Jack Nicholson impression, Bobby Orr shows up. Bobby Orr, Bobby Orr is always there. It's always because it's a, it's actually Jack Nicholson as Wayne Gretzky, but he's always at the Oscars. <laughs> He's always sneaking into the Oscars. <laughs> you know the famous stories of an undrafted Wayne Gretzky sneaking into the Oscars in 1984 when he was 16 years old? <laughs> Are you going to watch the Oscars this year? Uh, yeah, I always do. I think I'm che totally checked out. It's, just too, really... it's too sanctimonious for me for like four hours. What does sanctimonious mean? It's like just people grandstanding like like trying to look good like yeah that's what's always like look at me look how much i care about the world like we all have to do our part and care i don't know i just don't care was it brando who uh, got that indigenous woman to accept the oscar on his behalf that one time and everyone was booing her <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel like that was actually maybe a good that's so yeah. funny everyone was booing her <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, that's old hollywood for you boo. like boo let us fuck kids <laughs> yeah it just gets to the point where it's uh, like it's so it's like a political show at this point. It feels like, like I it feels like I'm watching um, uh, ah uh, shit. What is his name? That HBO guy, uh, Larry, Sanders. Larry Sanders. Larry Sanders. <laughs> I no, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, Larry who's the Davis. famous? Who's the famous atheist? Bill Maher. Feels like I'm watching Bill Maher. I fucking hate Bill Maher. Bill Maher's the worst. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. He's he's a very punchable face. Oh, God. The guy's got a fucking... The face of a stepdad. A not good stepdad. <laughs> face of your stepdad. So, who's going to win Best Picture? I don't even know who's nominated. I, I saw that uh, our boy... I don't think I've seen any of these. Riz Ahmed got nominated. <laughs> yeah, see, I just hope everything that he... I haven't even seen Sound of Metal, but I've heard good things about it. Man, I want to see it. Uh, Derek C. in France wrote the story like... Because I was think I was wondering about this movie. He had talked about it. He's like a director I love, and uh, yeah, he was going to direct it, but I think he handed it off to another guy, his friend, instead. Yeah. So I've heard good things, good. man. The yes. Night of is like one of my favorite mini series of all time. Great series. Yeah, it rules. I wonder if Birth of a Nation ever won an Oscar. I always when you ever say that, I just want to say Birth of an Asian. <laughs> Speaking of which, Minari. It's been nominated yeah. for a bunch of Academy Awards this year. This is going to be an Oscars <clears throat> show. Yeah. We're, yeah. E, we're like E Entertainment. I haven't seen any of the best picture category. I haven't Literally. seen a, a movie in like yeah, two I years, watch, I feel I don't like. I movies anymore. I just watch YouTube clips of people <laughs> clipping bonsai trees for half an hour. Yeah. Literally, that's literally what I watch. Dude, I went to bed last night. I fell asleep to a uh, like five hour long video that's just like a real time recreation of the Titanic like sinking. Oh, that sounds awesome. It was like ASMR. It put me to bed. It was real <laughs> nice. People screaming and people playing violin as they drown. <laughs> that happens at like the three hour mark. But then like <laughs> You're already three fast hours asleep by then. Yeah, three hours. Like the first three hours, it's just like the iceberg hits, but it takes a while for it to sink. So it's just the calming sounds of the Atlantic Ocean. And then, yes, people screaming for their lives. Man, and my head, my new headphones are dope. <clears throat> I was going to comment. They look nice. Yeah, man. I got the Audio Technica like DJ headphones. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, they look good. They're very I use good. the the AirPod Pros, which are kind of nice because they have transparency mode, so I can hear my voice when I talk. Like it's not uh like muffled. What's the difference between the iPod uh the what are they called? I guess just the AirPods and then the AirPod Pros. Yeah, what's the difference between <clears throat> them? So they have their noise canceling and they have uh, 
what I just said, the transparency mode. Yeah. So you can like sw- like toggle between the two modes. The transparency mode, it's like the idea behind it is like there's nothing in your ear. Like it amplifies, even though your ear's blocked, it amplifies the sound uh, like in the outside world to mm. seem like you're not wearing um, any earplugs or AirPods, I guess. And uh, is Chadwick Boseman going to win Best Actor because he's dead? I think so. It's definitely not going to be Riz, Sir Anthony Hopkins, Gary Oldman, or maybe it could be Stephen Ewan. Ewan. For Stephen Ewan? Minari. Minari. <laughs> Minari. I love that movie, Minari. <laughs> Minari? <laughs> Man, I don't really like immigrants or nothing, but that movie, Minari, really fucking shook me to the core, brother. I relate to the farming. That movie looks great, though. Yeah, it they look all good. look good. All these movies look great. I just can't watch them. I, the last movie I watched was that Psycho Gore Man. <laughs> that, <laughs> that movie was rad. That movie was fucking awesome. It was literally, it was just like Power Rangers uh, with a lot of blood and guts and just really funny characters. Good movie. We got to be making shit like that, man. I, every time I see like a good genre film, it uh, reminds me that I should be doing that. Making films. <laughs> can't believe Borat got nominated. I, I thought that movie sucked, man. It was all right. It was nothing special, though. It was like, OK, as I was watching it. And then like a day later, I'm like, that movie was so gay. It was just you ever, lame. You ever eat chips while you vape? Uh, no, I don't like chips and I no longer vape. So well, both that's of those the reason why I'm quitting the podcast. <laughs> announcing <laughs> now <laughs> these are a few of my favorite things i like chips i like vaping i like mountain dew red <laughs> if my mama catches me masturbating dead <laughs> dead she kills dead. me <laughs> it's room it's yeah. brie larson <laughs> in room <laughs> Just I'm just looking at the fappening of Brie Larson on my big TV and I'm in my bot my skin is blue. <laughs> Cause you're like auto erotica officiation or whatever. Officiation. I just fisted myself to death. I couldn't I stumbled on that. Asphyxiation. How do you say that? Yeah. It's a tough word. I get it, dude. <laughs> it's, it's a tough one. So, um, best uh, live action and uh, short film. Who's going to win that? I don't know. I, again, I haven't looked at any of the, uh, the... Did they announce the nominations today or something? Yeah, they did. Uh, one of the Jonas Brothers did it with his, Priyanka, with his wife, Priyanka. What? Is that how they announced the nominees? Whoa, did you hear that? Yeah, well, what's, that sounded like a beluga whale. It's the Cthulhu awakening. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Cthulhu whale. Out it's just that asshole. horn. It's that horn from the beginning of Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> Fuck that movie. That game is so good. I almost said movie. Yeah. That should no. get nominated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that should get nominated for an Academy Award. But uh, <sighs> I think that was a chair upstairs. That's my parents. They're playing oh. musical chairs upstairs. <laughs> They've run out of Dr. things to do. <laughs> and a Chinese man walked in. <laughs> you can't play musical chairs upstairs. And then a Chinese guy walks in. Next thing you know, no, I'm just kidding. The, ba- the books are banned. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Everyone's like, hey, people, you got you got Megan the Stallion and Cardi B singing about wet ass pussy, but you're banning Dr. Seuss books from the library. <laughs> like, God, I wish I, I really wish that because I felt the same thing. Like, oh, that seems ridiculous. But it'd be so funny if we went back to look at the Dr. Seuss books. And it was just like, N-word this, N-word that. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, I can't be an N-word cat. <laughs> yeah. No, literally, though, they're like, I get it. They're like, his drawings of different ethnicities was pretty uh I don't get it. I'm going to say, I'm going to call it I think it's broad. ridiculous. I think it's stupid, but. I, I don't really care that much. And, I don't really unless there really was way. the N-word. What, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to waste energy on it, but it is dumb. What, but we that's band, the, ex, the we extent of the H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah, he didn't like Jews, right? No, or he was didn't like he a Jew? Black, he oh, didn't like he, black people. Was there anything to do with Jews in it? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure there's something about the, uh, those great people. <laughs> Go look at Cthulhu. Look at his nose. <laughs> Cthulhu. 
<laughs> had a big Jewish nose. <laughs> big comedic Jewish nose. He sounded like, <laughs> all his tentacles. He's holding dollar bills in every tentacle. George, the old ones, they're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you like my hair right now? Yeah, man. It looks like uh you look like my brother from when he in 1995, he had that it's, same haircut. It's like a mullet but with a penis head in the front. It's got the middle part. The middle part's yeah. dope. Yeah, I wanted to switch things up for the pod. I like having a different hairstyle every episode. <clears throat> yeah, like, it's cool. I like that I get to look at you. Yeah, and I all I see is Dakota Arsena. <laughs> Arsena. Arsenia. Is it, it's the Arsenio show. Arsen- <laughs> what are you drinking there? Is that champagne? It's a bit of the bubbly. I'm drinking nice. uh, champagne and spicy dill pickle chips from Costco. Ooh, I love They're, dill pickle. Honestly, I know you're not a chip guy, but the spicy dill pickle chip is probably one of the best fucking chips I've ever eaten in my life. I and do I am- love, out of all the flavors of chips, if I were to eat one, uh, dill is just like up there in the flavor i like can i asmr eat one yeah go for it eat it like go really close to the mic so you can get all the details Mm -hmm. Mm, that was delicious (laughs) that was a delicious chip (laughs) (laughs) pop my peas (laughs) that fucking chip was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that was Hell a yeah. butt boys ASMR moment. <laughs> you know, all of our Patreons just cummed. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta say something. What do you have to say? So I work with the, the guy I work with. His name's Paul. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Paul. And uh, remember a couple episodes back, I was talking to you about Batman, and I was asking you who your favorite Batman was. Yeah. Well, I stole my opinion of Batman from him because I hadn't even seen uh, the Batman versus Superman. And I was like, yeah, I think I think Ben Affleck's the best Batman. And that's only because he said that. Uh, I'm and sorry, I thought Paul, that was a controversial you're, you're opinion. Wrong. <laughs> I think Paul might be on to something, but uh, no. <laughs> also the baby voice. You know how I did the baby voice? Yeah. It really disturbs some people. People, Some people hate it. Yeah, well, I stole that from him, too. <laughs> he came up with that as well. He's, he's just rip, the, <laughs> stealing all his bits? <laughs> just two, mainly. He, th- he seems to think I'm stealing all of his bits, but I'm just stealing yeah. two of his best bits. Well, uh, so I, I don't like your opinion on Batman, Paul, but good baby voice. Oh, yeah. Ten out of ten Are you sure he just isn't a baby and that's why he likes Batman versus Superman? Yeah, I work with him every day is bring your kid to work day when I work with that fucking goddamn <laughs> stupid baby. <laughs> the new uh, the Zack Snyder cut, though, kind of actually looks interesting, I will say. I mean, it's four hours long. It's got to be dog shit. It's yeah. got to be. <laughs> yeah, nothing uh, uh, past like the two and a half hour mark is like anything past that. With anything. Imagine having sex for four hours. Yep. That would suck. Horrible. I I can't even (laughs) imagine having sex past 10 minutes. (laughs) (laughs) That was a gimme. Yeah. You know, when you date somebody for a while and you start getting, you just get comfortable. So you just know how to make somebody bust and you're like, you just whittle down sex into like a good seven and a half minute act. (laughs) Everybody nuts. Everybody's good. Nobody's sweating. Yeah. Everything's fine. And you you can meet go, up for date night and then get it done in seven minutes before going to the movie. Yeah, you know when like Monday Night Raw starts at eight o'clock, so you got to bust <laughs> before then. <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you got to finish in time so you can clean your dick up before Roman Reigns comes out. It's so funny, man! Like five years ago, I thought wrestling like was just over. I thought it didn't happen anymore, but it still happens. It's fucking crazy. Okay, so I was driving down my street um, yesterday, and who did I see walking their dog beside me? All ego Ethan Page, uh, newly signed to AEW. This guy is on TV every Wednesday night now. And I saw him walking his dog like three houses down from my parents' place. Nice. I guess the guy lives down there. He's lived down there for a while. <clears throat> and like I've watched him on the uh, like he he started Alpha One, which is like the the Hamilton wrestling, big wrestling kind of. OK. 
And um, yeah, he's like a kind of a marginally famous person. And I didn't even realize he lived in my area. Like, what's he I on was, now? What's he on now? Yeah. Ketamine. Like what? Ketamine. <laughs> He's in a- AEW, All Elite Wrestling, which is the a- wrestling AEW? that I like. yeah. Is that like a Canadian thing? A no, 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 no. It's, uh, it's the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars in Florida, actually. Uh, okay. Is the owner of AEW. And, True. And uh, <clears throat> he made it to compete with WWE, and it's it's better, way better wrestling than WWE. And, My brothers uh, never let me watch wrestling. They just called me gay and said, that's gay and you're gay and you can't watch this. Were they, they do that with everything. Uh, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> you can't watch this because you're gay. <laughs> um, no, they just were uh, very like mean about uh, what I could like, what media I could. They were very pretentious about what media I could consume. What did they let you consume? No, nah, maybe they weren't pretentious. Other than come. <laughs> yeah, they held me down, gave me a noogie, and then. Busted in your fucking yap and let you watch Caillou for three hours. <laughs> they wouldn't. Uh, my brother always makes fun of me for liking Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> what? Like one yeah. of the most popular video game franchises of all time. To his credit, it is in like it is ridiculous, but it's a guilty pleasure. I don't care. I like it. Maybe they didn't let you watch wrestling because they thought you'd get tough and beat their fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was it. <laughs> you'd fucking do. You'd fucking do the people's elbow on your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I miss wrestling video games. Oh man, those old THQ video games from N64 yeah. were the best. Like No Mercy, WCW vs NWO World Tour. Those were so rad. Oh my god, yeah, wrestling video games were sick, and they Good, just got- uh, couch co-op. Yeah, man, there's not a lot of great couch co-op games anymore. No. Like, that's really. why I think the beat-em-ups, like, beat-em-ups are a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. We were playing some Grand Theft Auto over the weekend. That was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. You, t- uh, you I wonder and your if we should Twitch stream to- that stuff. Nah, it's a little too much. <laughs> well, no, we can temper what we say. Nah, I can't. <laughs> I can't control what I say on a Saturday past 6 p.m. So, so me and Dakota are just like on the streets of GTA bludgeoning women <laughs> with our bare fists. And then we decide to like steal a car and we're like, let's go to the uh, redneck bar and play darts. <laughs> and so we go and play darts and obviously Dakota kicks my ass and I'm like, hey, Dakota, come outside. I got a little present for you. <laughs> and I got like a shotgun cocked at the front door just waiting to blow him away because he beat me in fucking darts. Such a and good then, game like that. It's so fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, dude. <laughs> and then we're like, meet me at my apartment. We'll have a we'll have a drink of whiskey. We'll hit, yeah, we hit, just hit drink whiskey until we're blackout. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I, st- I can't even control my drinks on GTA. I'm still I'm getting blackout drunk in video games. <laughs> That's like the which which will you get blackout first in Grand Theft Auto? Yeah. Will I pass out before I can get blackout? <laughs> Yeah, when we were playing like months ago, you were you were passing out with your mic on, <laughs> just snoring. I would just leave, I would just leave. And turn yeah, it off. you'd be like, "Hey, dude, you ready to do this heist?" I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> just like sleep apnea, choking. Yeah, I was gonna say like a real heavy sleep apnea sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but. Um, yeah, I mean, in theory, doing some sort of Twitch stream sounds fun, but I, I just don't know if it'd be actually that exciting. Yeah, it's more that's, fun. I like, I kind of like it's, it's fun our for secret. us. I like doing it. Like, I like playing video games, but that's the thing. I don't even understand the Twitch. It seems like just such a degradation of culture, <laughs> like to just sit and watch people play video games for hours on. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. get it. And I love video games. <clears throat> I really love video games, but I don't get the Twitch thing. Are you excited for Jackass 4? I'm really excited now. <laughs> I'm excited. I think I'm just going to, uh, at the like when it premieres, I'm just going to watch Bam Margera's Instagram. Like We're live. just going to watch CKY. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I was going to say I was going to watch Bam's Meltdown on Instagram. <laughs> but We're going to watch Viva La Bam Season 2. <laughs> it is weird to do it without ba- I, I feel like they shouldn't be doing it at all. But He's just, a, he's too fucked up. Well, everyone's too fucked up. They're all true. Besides, well, Steve-o. I mean, a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, Steve-O and Johnny Knoxville seem pretty good, and you know, but most like, of them actually seem. They're just good. like old. I mean, and injured. Like it's hard on their bodies. I guess. Yeah, I f- yeah, and like the Eric Andre like bad trip kind of 
felt to me like it could have been like the beginning of a new era of Jackass, but you can't really reproduce that. Yeah, I don't think you can reproduce any of it because it was such a moment in time thing. Like there wasn't YouTube. The MTV the, generation. Yeah, and like just the popularity of the, those CKY discs <clears throat> was because like there's obviously always a need for watching. There's always a demand for, for seeing people hurt themselves. Yeah. And then there wasn't any like stream to get that in. Like there wasn't YouTube. So yeah, they be, it became a huge fucking deal and but now it's like you know you have fail army i don't know it doesn't really make sense to keep doing the jackass thing do you think they should recreate they should do a new jackass but do an all-female cast <laughs> get uh, Kristen wig get Kristen wig to eat fucking whale cum <laughs> <laughs> get fucking molly shannon to head to headbutt a fucking elephant shit that's awesome yeah i like that they all fucking die <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. You think if I um, get lip injections into my asshole, um, that my asshole will look like a uh, fucking calamari ring? <laughs> it might. Yeah. What do you think about that? I think you should just get, <laughs> try and get hemorrhoids, like a perfect r- a ring of hemorrhoids around your ass instead. <clears throat> I think we've talked about hemorrhoids on this show before. Have me, and you have both, me and you both had hemorrhoid problems, right? I always have hemorrhoid problems. You've always, your secret is you always have hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> That's your incredible Hulk moment. I'm You're always about to angry. fight Ultron. <laughs> That's my secret. I always have hemorrhoids. And you just fucking blood fart all over Ultron's fucking face. <laughs> Oh, shit. Colin's calling me. Where's he calling you? Do you want me to put him on the podcast? Yeah, put him on. Don't tell him he's on, though. Answer it and put it on speaker. Okay. This is our friend, by the way. Hello? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey, pretty good. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Just uh, <clears throat> just hanging out, eating some chips, uh, drinking some bubbly. What are you doing? I'm just hanging out. I was. It's my Saturday today, so... I'm just alone in my apartment drinking vodka and listening to Springsteen. What Springsteen album are you listening to? Live in New York. <clears throat> Live from New York? It's Saturday night! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <right>. pretty much. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to call. I would, it'd be nice to hear your voice instead of uh, on a podcast. Yeah, I'm for sure. Religiously, almost. By the way, I well, I really appreciate that. And you know what, man? It's just good to hear your fucking voice too. Like, you know, it seems like the only time I ever get to talk to my friends is on the fucking podcast. So it's really nice to just off the record, you and me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We aren't being recorded or tracked or anything. No, fuck that shit, dude. <clears throat> I'm scared about the government. What about it? Uh, I don't know. Just that vaccine. You know, I feel like. I feel like there's going to be some nanobots in there. Uh, no, I don't think so. But although there is a, did you hear about the, uh, uh, what the fuck is it called? Moderna is causing blood clots in people in Europe right now. Oh yeah. That's that. No, it's a, yeah. That third one. AstraZeneca. Yeah, it, AstraZeneca, right? AstraZeneca. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sounds like a fucking shitty sci-fi, not like an L. Ron Hubbard fucking <laughs> diatribe. Yeah. I'm in the same boat. Like Allison just got cleared to get her vaccine. And she's like, oh, yeah, you can go get my vaccine. I'm like, just, just, just wait, just wait. There's, it's not like, I don't understand, like, there's, like, all the drugstores and stuff around me. There's people with, like, long lineups. Like, you think that fucking Springsteen tickets were on sale. <laughs> people to go get these fucking vaccines. And it's just like, what's the fucking rush? It's not like once you get vaccinated, anything is going to change. Yeah. Everything's still going to be closed. We're not going to be able to go anywhere. It's just like, you're vaccinated. You still have to wear your mask. So doesn't fucking matter like that'd be a good that'd be a good way to get people to take the vaccine is uh in order to see bruce springsteen you have to get vaccine hey man i appreciate y'all coming out tonight i hope you hope you enjoy your blood clots (laughs) now here's the river Yeah, and this fucking Joe Biden up in the fucking nosebleeds, just nodding to him yeah good idea just alzheimer's mini stroking out every fucking song yeah and what about kamala harris what's she doing Kamala Harris. Who? Oh, the best lady? The best lady, yes. What is she doing <laughs> best at, lady the, ever. at the... What's the best lady doing at the Springsteen concert? Oh, she's probably... I don't know. She's probably buying drinks. She's buying drinks for all her boys. <laughs> yeah. 
for all the boys in blue, right? Yeah, she's probably like the drink runner for like the East Street Band, she's just bringing up like you know cups of bourbon and shit for Steve Van Zandt. It's a booze roadie. Probably giving sloppy top to Max Weinberg between between sets. Yeah. <laughs> so you're uh, you're drinking vodka. You hanging out with uh, the cat alien. Yeah, I know he's he's in the bedroom. He's he's uh, kind of. I'm in a mood where like I it's, as soon as spring happens, I open up all my windows and it gets fucking. It's kind of cold, but I like it. So he's he has to like go into the bedroom and dig in. He makes himself a little nest out of the, uh, the comforter on the bed. Yeah. Why do you like the cold so much? I don't know. Cause it's, I don't know. I don't like the cold. It's a, the springtime cold. It's the smell of the air. There's something about it. it reminds me of like fucking Hydrahead records in high school. You know. Does it remind you of Mayor? <clears throat> listening to Mayor with yeah. <clears throat> thinking of Caleb. Yeah, listening. To, well, I didn't even know who Caleb was back then, but yeah, just like the thought of like you know hanging out in these open parking lots and the big fucking street lights and just the smell of the pavement and you know, it brings me back. Shit, yeah. Well, you know what? <clears throat> I gotta, I, I gotta run because uh, I just, I'm just doing. I got some. I'm cleaning up and get my meal prep done for the week and stuff. But uh, oh yeah, shit, man. It's good to just talk to you, and you don't have to hear my fucking voice on the podcast. That we can just chill out, just like old times, you know. Although I am looking forward to it tomorrow. So, well, tune in tomorrow, and I don't know. Maybe we got a surprise for you. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> All right. Well, looking forward to it. Take care. Hey, maybe I'll and give you a call back in like an hour. Uh, okay, an a- yeah, good. probably about an hour and three minutes. Store, so. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good, man. All right. Take care, buddy. I love you. All right. You too. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was, really <laughs> that was <sweet>. interesting. <laughs> for that was the, kind of for our listeners. Yeah, that's a that's a friend of ours. One time, Eli said he looked like all three members of the West Memphis Three <laughs> combined <laughs> into one. <laughs> Which is true if you want a mental, if you like an image of who that guy looks like. <laughs> but seriously, though, hearing that voice, man. I, I love miss you, that. Colin. Yeah, we both love you. And I miss the fuck out of you. Hearing that voice made me want to tear up a little bit. Did make me tear up. Seriously? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pissy. <laughs> but yeah, no, we love Colin. He's a, he's a friend of the butt boys. He uh, rec- did a sketch for us too, talking shit about Nelson. Yeah, if uh, he he's actually in one of our videos, the Valentine's Day come one where Eli's drinking cum. He's the weird guy with like the, the <clears throat> hairnet over his head. Yeah, we need some more sperm from the boys back at the house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think he improvised line. that line too. That was <laughs> <laughs> Colin is a natural, like gifted, like he, he's got a way with words. He's also very good on the mic. He's an Shout editor out. too. Good editor. Yeah. A fellow editor. Couple of fellow editor. A couple of dumb Cheers, dumbs. Colin. Yeah, Dude, we love you. Phantom cheers for you. And we hope you don't get upset that... Uh, no, but, he'll like that. That'll be hilarious. Cool. Yeah. I really like that. He's like, yeah, man, it's nice not to hear your voice on the podcast. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like you set me up or something. <clears throat> yeah. No, I didn't. I swear to God. Yeah, it's all oh, good. Man. It was awesome. I've been fucking watching this GameStop stock like a, like a hawk. How's it going? I'm definitely going to lose money on it. What? Uh, can we talk about it? Like, can I ask how much you bought in at? Yeah, I didn't buy that much. I would have had I been in like a different mood. And I'm glad I didn't. I what bought was the like price the, at? I bought the peak. So I bought it like three. <laughs> <laughs> so it's what you, it's what you do. <laughs> so what you you, you buy me. it when it's at its best. You know, you want you the met, best. You messaged me like a week ago. You're like, hey, the stock is up. And it was at like 95 bucks. <laughs> when did you buy it? I bought it at like the height of the hysteria. Well, right you know what? You're been... supposed to just, you know, <laughs> dive in. Yeah, I bought it 310. I only bought two shares though, so it Whatever. like amounted to eight hundred American. Yeah, um, I broke even last week, but then it dipped. It's dipping again, so who knows? You might as well just hold on to it and ride that wave and see what happens. I'll fucking hold on to it till forever. You gonna hold that line, brother? For forever, I'm holding the line to the moon, I'm, right? I'm drawing the line. I draw the line here and now. <clears throat> That's awesome. 
Uh, anyway, yeah. I think like a good jackass four idea <clears throat> would be like if the, someone's buried in the sand at the beach, but they got a boner sticking out of the sand with like uh, peanut butter and bird seed on their boner and they let the seagulls uh, eat the dick. <laughs> what? I, I like the just put uh, like a raw, just get a Rottweiler to eat a dick. Just speed it up. <laughs> yeah. Just put some blood, put some fucking animal blood on someone's boner and put it in a glory hole and let a Rottweiler chew it off. <laughs> what were all Bam's ideas that he drew? They were all like pissing. They were all like, there was like a hundred people pissing on somebody in a well. Like you put somebody in a well and let everybody piss on their head. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking meth ideas, dude. <laughs> God damn, imagine thinking that's a good idea. <clears throat> yeah, man. And he had like illustrations for it and all. It was just crazy. Fuck. I hey, do you mind if him. I... I just want to take a quick piss. I'm not going out anywhere. I just... I really have to piss really bad. Sure, sure. Go piss. I might not even edit this out, so... Yeah, don't... It'll... Uh, if you if you got a little monologue, a little sure, race, racist about monologue... Yeah, yeah. Talk to your proud boys while I go for a piss. Let me bring up the birth of a nation script and I'll just do a reading. <laughs> just a quick reading. I'll yeah. be really quick. I'm going to be really quick. <laughs> okay. Be quick or else I'm going to read this whole damn thing. All right. I am going to look for this script here. Thanks for joining me, fellow listeners. Okay. Let's see if it's available online. It's probably been wiped off the internet. Birth of a nation, daily script. Oh, it did win an Oscar. Best original screenplay. <laughs> or it was considered, I think. I guess this is, yeah, this is like the script they send to the um, Oscar committee uh, for a nom, for a nomination. All right, <clears throat> let's give this a read here. The Birth of a Nation screenplay by Nate Parker. Black, then. Indeed, I tremble for my country. Really? Sorry. Are you really doing that? <laughs> I just got to it. I just, it was the Thomas Jefferson quote. I just started. So I think it did actually get, like, I think it won an Oscar. Because this is for, this is uh, the screenplay copy I'm reading. It's like the copy they sent to the, to the Oscars. And this the is the committee. OG version of Birth of a Nation? I believe so. Yeah, I don't know if this is, <laughs> I don't think they remade it. They did. Did they? They did. Oh, did they really? Did they remake it? Yeah, there was like a black. recently, sure, though. Yeah, yeah, they did a black birth of the nation. Birth of a nation. What? And there was some controversy around it because the director did some, who was a bad guy. Yeah, they redid the birth of a nation in 2016 with uh, Army Hammer was in it, Jackie Earl Haley, directed by Nate Parker. Oh, that's the one I was reading. Oh, okay. So I wasn't reading. No, you're reading the, um, the remake of birth of a nation. Oh, okay. So I wasn't even reading the <clears throat> original one. No, the original. Okay, so the film was ultimately unsuccessful in wide release and acclaim after uh, rape allegations against yeah, I'm uh, reading Nate, that now. Nate Parker's cool. a raper. As if you can't have enough controversy <laughs> with like the yeah. he's trying <laughs> you know, to do the like source the, material. He's trying to do like a cool black version of Birth of a Nation, and whoops, I raped someone again. <laughs> Damn, man. Yeah, that was horrible. But uh, yeah, they, I remember it got like a lot of praise too. And I'm now, um, I'm now remembering this. Yeah, <clears throat> that's really funny that you're reading the remake too. Damn, it I'm was the worst read. of times. I gotta find the original. It was the blurst of times. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? That's uh, where. <laughs> what is it? It's a, the Simpsons clip where um, uh, Montgomery Burns. He's like hiring a bunch of monkeys to re oh yeah 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 to write some <laughs> i have a vague recollection of that yeah <laughs> and he gets mad at one of them for making like a stupid typo <laughs> damn man i've been re-watching all the simpsons oh they fixed it on disney it's so good i know yeah they put the four by three on there yeah yeah <clears throat> way better way better yeah, man, I've been really like I watch it when I go to bed now. I've been trying to read instead of watch TV. Same here. That's what Some... I have to do that to fall asleep. But then oh, and yeah. wa and watch Titanic sink. <laughs> what are you reading right <laughs> now? Uh, I'm still reading Lord of the Rings. I'm a pretty slow reader, primarily because I just read to go to bed lately. Yeah, and you also read. You only read books with like 700 pages. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. I don't know why I'm like, you, like you're I have fucking, something to prove. You couldn't bother reading something less than 550 pages. The next thing I read, I'm going to read like a pamphlet of something. 
Something small. Something you almost made me spit easy. out my champagne. <laughs> champagne. Hey, baby, you want a glass of champagne? <laughs> champagne. There's a bit of Spanish fly in my champagne. <clears throat> so you're reading Lord uh, of the, the Lord of the Rings. And how far Indeed. into it are you? I'm like getting there to the uh, finishing, I guess, the first book, Fellowship. You of get the that Ring. Balrog? The, uh, the, I'm the right monster? after the like Council of El- 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 Elrond. The Enron? Council of Elrond Hubbard. <laughs> where he talks about Thetans. The Council of Enron. Yeah. They're talking about stocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Frodo's got to hold the line. <laughs> oh, man. I got the, the laziest um, like play on words for, uh, for uh, Bilbo Baggins. We're going to have to cut <laughs> it out, though. No, I don't want to do any editing because uh, oh, okay. I have to. I have to do all this tonight. Oh, and, true. Uh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, that. yeah. Never yeah, mind. I don't. I don't want. I want to do as little as possible. Okay. So it's working well, I'm, all day. I'm reading the uh, the Demolished Man by Alfred Bester. Fucking awesome book. Awesome yeah. book. It's kind of a little bit like Minority Report, where it's it's set in the future where. Um, there's these like telepaths, like varying degrees of telepaths that can read people's minds. And yeah. they prevent crimes from happening. And some <clears throat> nobody's been murdered in 80 years. Whoa. And the main character is kind of like a hard boiled detective type guy. And he wants his arch nemesis is like the like the leader of this like group of telepaths. And he wants to murder him. The whole point of the book is he wants to murder him. And nobody's been murdered in 80 years. Damn, that's good. <clears throat> when did this come out? Uh, like 1950 something. It sounds awesome. But it, it's kind of like a cyberpunk type novel. Like, uh, fucking oh, I love awesome. that. Yeah. How I'm long like, is it? Maybe I'll fucking read this next. I'm trying to figure out what book to read. You should ah, read the stars. It's, it's, it's by the same guy who wrote The Star is My Destination. And both of both of these books are, are equally awesome. Maybe I'll read that. <clears throat> yeah. I have a few things lined up. You should read, read The Star is My I swear to God, you will love this fucking book. Please, for God, I just want somebody else to be able to talk to this book about it. I can't. <laughs> I just, if I have a copy, which I think I do, I will read it. But if I don't, I want to read some books that I've like purchased like in the last six months. And like, I just want to clear some things that I've bought. That, you like, said you had a copy of this book. I think I do. Yeah, I just have to yeah. fetch it somewhere. And I don't you know paid it for it with your own fucking money. So you should, I, you I owe did. it to yourself. I didn't have to ask my mom for a credit card. I paid for it. Remember, remember being it. 16 and uh, t- taking your mom's credit card to buy fucking DVDs <laughs> on deepdiscountdvd.com? <laughs> no, I never did Buying that. Buying Boondock Saints on Deep Discount DVD? <laughs> did you do that a lot? <clears throat> yeah, like I bought uh, Dawn of the Dead. I bought uh, Dead Alive. I bought Dead, 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 Dead 2, The Deadening. I bought You're Fucking Dead, You Piece of Shit. <laughs> I bought uh, Whoops, You Died, You Fucking Idiot. These are all hidden gems now. You can't find them anywhere. Oh, I yeah, remember yeah. I never bought DVDs or CDs. I did try and steal a um, a CD of him and a copy of The Graduate from um, an a HMV. And, you mean that? And like, I like I got caught right immediately. Here in my arms, <laughs> so in love. <laughs> I still listen to that when I skate. It's the best. Hey, yeah, for sure. You feel like you're in Tony Hawk 3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It rules. Hell yeah. 96 quite bitter beings. Remember the foundry? Remember the first level? The first level. Okay. This is how well, you Yeah, man. I've been, I've been uh, playing the remake or I played it a few months ago. Well, this is how you know Tony Hawk and the third one went beyond belief where you go to the fa- the first level is the fucking foundry. What, you're skating around in some sort of molten uh, metal foundry? I don't believe it. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't believe it. <clears throat> Silly. They should get... Uh, who's the guy who, wrote, who did the movie Shame? Um, Steve McQueen. Yes. They should get him to do to a do movie Tony adaptation Hawk, of Tony, Tony Hawk 3. <laughs> Tony Hawk 3, the movie. <laughs> Just fucking Tony Hawk skating around with his... Like a huge hog. <laughs> He's got a big old fucking dick. He's on a hunger strike in the foundry skateboarding and his fucking big dick keeps slapping the hard hats off everybody in the foundry. It's, there's like violin playing. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I, I can't a, do a pretentious like art. I gave a wink to the local foundry men. Next thing I know, I was in the women's washroom, deep cocking him. He still uses CKY. <laughs> Here I am doing everything I can. <laughs> Just a fucking man in the he's foundry a, with my dick. Yeah, he's at a gay nightclub, like sobbing, like sucking cock. That's Damn. the part. Yeah, that's the the director's cut of Tony Hawk Three. He did. Uh, I wonder if Steve McQueen's done anything recently. He did. I don't know. I'm so out of touch with the like cinema. Hey, brother, just Google it. Google it. Hey, if you got a problem, brother, you can Google me. <laughs> Imagine going to the bar and Meet be like, "Me on Google." <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to fight? Why don't you fuck? You better Google me first. <laughs> it just says you're a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, bud. <laughs> Fair warning before we uh, engage in fisticuffs. You, you better Google my name. <laughs> this man raped four people when he was 16 years old. <laughs> the guys, like, I don't think I want to fight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good on that whole fighting thing. Yeah. I back down. <clears throat> I won't back down. Dip it, dip oh, it, man. Dip it, I watched American History X. First yes. time in a long time. It's a good yes. movie. What's your favorite part? I only watched part? the first 10 minutes, but. Which your favorite part? <laughs> Just the first 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the laundry scene. I like when they're pretty, doing laundry. I'm pretty sure again. that is a joke. I'm pretty sure in the first 10 minutes, it's when he does the. Curb stop. I am kidding. Yeah, of in course. In case anyone's listening. Like my favorite part of the television show Oz is when that guy is sucking the other guy's dick and then he breaks his neck after he comes. <laughs> what show is this? Oz. Remember Oz? No. <clears throat> it was like an early HBO show and um, it's just about prison. It's just like a drama about pr a male man prison. Oh, fuck. I remember I used to like, remember the show Kink on Showcase? No, I never watched that. Or, were, it was just, or that, that was like the sex show. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Like the late night like, sex education show. Did we talk about that last episode? We talked about Sue Johansson, but we didn't really talk about kink. Because kink a lot of the time would be sexy. Mm -hmm. And then, but the, I remember there was a couple episodes where it was just like fat guys getting flogged wearing fucking gimp masks. But <laughs> um, yeah, like I would be, you know, doing my jack off thing Saturday night, 11 o'clock. And uh, then, Oz, like, I remember one time there was nothing else to jerk off to. So I tried to jerk off to Oz. And the <laughs> scene was a, a prisoner got another prisoner in, like, a broom closet. And he got the prisoner on his knees and <clears throat> he was blowing him. Uh, and um, <laughs> he was blowing, and how, how'd that make you feel? Uh, well, he, but he was blowing the guy and then, and, then, um, and then he busted in the guy's mouth. And the guy's like, oh, fuck. Oh, and then right after he busted, he fucking broke the guy's neck. I hope he took his dick out before he broke his neck. <laughs> his dick is stuck in the twisted neck. <laughs> yeah, rigor mortis. The cops get there. He's like, I don't know how this got in there. <laughs> he had a stroke and then he bent my dick in half. <laughs> It's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Oz was sick. Oz was sick. Yeah, um, I never watched it. Oh, I forgot to shout out to Fatty Rat. He uh, he commented on the last podcast. He wanted he wanted us. I don't know much to. I don't know what to comment on. Like what even to say to this. But I guess he invested twenty five thousand in Dogecoin. Nice. Well, that's yeah. interesting. That's the best I can do is mention it. I don't know much about it. I see it's up in value. Should I get in on this too at the peak? No, 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 no. Dakota, no. don't do this. Don't do the meme the meme stocks, okay? Just do some safe shit, all right? Put some in your banks and just shut the fuck up. I, I'm thinking of removing all the money from my PFSA <laughs> investment account. Yeah, and Doge. I was thinking about Dogecoin too as a, as a, as a joke, but... Uh, okay, I just want to point out that you did give a big shout out to this guy last episode. Well, no, I did a shout out, but he specifically asked if, to comment on this. You know what? Tell him to put $25,000 on a fucking Butt Boys NFT and then we can talk. <laughs> yeah, hey, subscribe to the Patreon too. I don't know if you are a subscriber. 100% you should because... But I said I would, <clears throat> so I want to be true to my word, so I thought I'd at least mention... Have you uploaded that video investment. yet of me doing the body shot? Here's a question. Oh my God, I completely forgot to do that. Yeah, you should do that because there's a lot of angry people that want to 
Uh, There's no angry people. Say, they just talk to you, so I don't count them as angry. Unless they're oh, commenting. They're angry. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're angry. If they're just, like, messaging you, then... No, no, no. There's just people casually being like, hey, what about that uh, that uh, right. Butt Boys video? I would like to see that, you know? Who? Who said this? I'm not telling you who said this. <laughs> I'll tell you off camera. This is a made-up person. It's me. <laughs> I want to see that. But I forget about that video. video. Yeah, I got to <laughs> find it. I'll try and put it up this week. Please, please, yeah. Give, let's give these motherfuckers some more content, you know? We these bloodthirsty them, fucking vampires. Yeah. We give them a podcast a week. It's not bad. How much money are we making on Patreon these days, fella? Oh, man, I don't know. It's not bad. Um, let's take a look here. 37 bucks a, a month? Pretty much. Pretty I'm much finna quit that. my fucking job and start being a Walmart greeter. Oh, it's 45, but there's a lot what? of fees. Yeah, there's a lot of fees after, though. Yeah, So yeah. it does, like, amount to, like, 30. I hope there's some, like, like I don't need that. Obviously, we don't need that money. To, you don't need to send it to me, but you got to put it in some. Put it in Dogecoin. Let's just do it all in Dogecoin. Well, right now, most of it is just paying the cost to host the podcast. Um, let me see so what we're, the final. We're actually paying. We're paying more than you guys are paying us. So uh, we really appreciate yeah. it. There is a price to oh like we we broke even in terms of the actual cost to do this thing. Well, I think we're barely over. Actually, not even we have enough for a pack of darts a month. Yeah, because the mics cost like six hundred. I'm total. still paying off this mic that I'm using right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> expecting Dakota to give me money, but he bought me this fucking mic. <laughs> so it's uh, yeah, it comes <laughs> it comes to about like thirty six dollars. Hell yeah, dude, okay. that's awesome. But hey, it's well, better than better than nothing. And we're only going to continue to put out more stuff. I'm working on a new video for the month. Tell you this, okay? If we break a hundred, if we break a hundred dollars, you gotta you gotta give me something. Of course. Well, we can technically split it down. The I just like like I don't even think I've done the payout yet. Uh, like it's still I don't think it's been a full month. True. Yeah. Like let me. We see should here. not do. We should just not do a bonus episode this week. Fuck you. <laughs> didn't bother yeah wait oh no okay oh no oh wait. no where oh, is no, this no, going no 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 can i tell you a story Pay payouts here we go okay nice we have a payout yeah so we have a 70 dollar payout what yeah hell yeah thanks to all months. our uh thank you so much all our pay <laughs> this is a lot <laughs> what uh, you really change your tune at like this man i can i'm scared if it like actually gets to a crazy number like i'm about to call my boss and tell him fuck you buddy boy i'm living in my parents basement making 35 bucks a month i'm making big dick money now boss man i don't need your bullshit anymore could you live off of that's impossible yeah, that maybe in fucking impossible. Indonesia. Maybe yeah. in Indonesia where there's like tropical storms wiping out my fucking hut every <laughs> 10 minutes. <clears throat> but um, I've been scraping by. Can I tell you? Uh, okay, so when I was, remember, um, I don't know, like three years ago when I was working in Ottawa? Yeah. So one time I was working and <clears throat> all of us, we, we did, finished our job for the day and we went to the variety store to get some Slurpees. And... Um, there was a, a, a telephone booth and somebody had left a six pack of Insure. You know what Insure is? No. It's like a nutrition beverage that they give to old people in the hospital when they can't eat solid food. Okay. It's just like an old, like an old person nutrition beverage. Yeah. And yeah, there was yeah. a six pack of Insure just sitting in the phone booth. And I was like, guys, look, a fucking six pack of Insure. And they're like, yeah, so? And I'm like, these things cost like four bucks a fucking bottle. This is like 24 bucks worth of nutrition right here. And they're like, yeah, don't touch <laughs> it. That's disgusting. Retard. That's fucking disgusting. And I'm like, no, I'm taking this shit home and refrigerating it. And I did. And 
I spent the whole week, every morning for breakfast, I would have a bottle of Ensure. Oh my God. That I, I feel found like in a you, photo. <laughs> I feel like you really don't like wasting money. And that's not a slight, that's not a like insult in any way. And you're, you know, it's not slight in your character. I'm frugal, eh? My dad you taught are me to be very frugal. frugal. You're far more, I will like just walk away from something if, even if it costs like $300. Like I just gave my PlayStation away. I mean, because there's too much hassle to take photos of it. Yeah, I mean, I buy hard copies of mass produced games so I can sell them for $10 yeah, yeah, and like yeah, haggle I'm, with haggle with people for six I months. I remember we got into a big argument about like physical media versus digital media, which I do still like uh, physical media, but I know there's definitely a hardly an argument that you can sell them after you sell them for like 10 bucks. Uh, well, it depends. <laughs> depends Nintendo, what it is, but like most media Nintendo games. games hold their value fairly well. Right. Okay. But like uh try like, to try to buy try to buy uh Twilight Princess on GameCube right now. Try to buy it. I fucking dare you. <laughs> well that one yeah, so that that one makes sense but like um but even so you're like the idea of like selling for one and then getting another like swapping or like constantly cycling <laughs> through. It's like you have to hold on to it for like maybe a decade before the value starts to like rise. Oh, on it's it again. a long it's a long haul, buddy. And that's, yeah. that's the life I chose. <laughs> I have DVD. I'm holding on to uh, Lu- Lucio Fulci's uh, The Beyond on Anchor yeah. Bay DVD. I probably That's paid awesome. about 40 bucks for it and I'm st- I'm holding on to it now. I probably owned it for about 13 years. And uh, that sucker's up to about 35, 40 bucks. Like it's about, I'm about to break right. even on that. Yeah. You are frugal though. It is good. It's a good quality to have. I'm getting more frugal as I get older, but I definitely I just like throw away money. Like, I haven't been eating tuna lately because there hasn't been a sale on tuna. True. So That's I've nice. been eating my own Do you like shit. tuna? Like, are you, are you like I missing it? I hate tuna. It? I hate tuna, oh. but it gives me nutrition and <laughs> right. it's cheap. Mm. <laughs> no, I love tuna, man. I love, like, eating a can of tuna is the best part of my day. Call me crazy. Call me depressed. Eating a can of uh, spicy peanut sauté tuna at the end of a hard day of work is the best. You're a, re- a real the blue best thing that's ever happened. To me. <laughs> <laughs> truly, I truly am. I Do you sit eat it straight from the can with yes. a fork. Yes, that's fucking well, a plastic awesome. fork <laughs> that I put in the dish. I put the plastic fork in the dishwasher. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know. I'm supposed to reuse them. Yeah. I'm getting uh what are they called? BPDs or whatever? Yeah. Do you are you are you uh environmentally friendly and like aware? Do you try to be? Yeah, definitely. I definitely try to be. That's why I'm uh, You're on this is question time. That's why I'm eating <laughs> spicy chips out of a whale's penis right now. I I I used to be so bad. I'm better now. I have such, I a, bad, I have such I, a bad attitude of like, out of sight, out of mind. Not my problem. I, in, <laughs> I inherited an ivory bowl 50 years ago from my grandmother and I still use it. I know well, it's nice made out though. of elephant tusk, but I still, I have to use it forever. Yeah, well, you can't go put it back into the elephant, so use it, right? You can kick it up a baby elephant's pussy. You can do that. And if you have the opportunity, I recommend you do it. Know, it's, like, it's kind of a once in a it's like going on safari. <laughs> kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity. Can you imagine going on a safari, bringing an ivory bull, and you're on like some tour, and you just step off like the Jeep, and you go to an elephant, you take up the bull, and you fucking kick it straight up the asshole. <laughs> I literally, I jump off a Jeep onto a baby <laughs> elephant and grab it by the tusk and wrestle it face first into the ground. And I have, I have an ivory Doc Martin that I kick into its pussy. <laughs> uh, we call that, we call that the walkabout. We call that's that, an epi- we call that's an episode of Lost. That's organic, baby. <laughs> it's called giving back. I just go to the African lion safari and slip a 16 year old a fucking $20 bill and he lets me into the elephant cage (laughs) and I put on some ivory boxing gloves and I punch out a fucking, I punch out a juvenile elephant. God damn. Yeah. I don't fuck with those though. I don't fuck with zoos. Uh, yeah, I never really, I don't really care. I like watching the people get eaten at zoos. 
Oh yeah, I like fail videos. Fail. I think it's called a fail when somebody gets eaten by a wild animal. <laughs> uh, fail. I mean, it's not not a fail. So. It is definitely a fail. Like, I watch this. I watch this fucking video shot by like an Indian guy, and it was like a giraffe fail, and it's like an Indian guy like falls off of like a jeep. And then gets yeah. trampled to death by a fucking giraffe. Oh man! And it's, it's just the worst like the animal to get killed by, too. Yeah, and it's it's called like giraffe fail. And then in the comment section, people are like, "Oh my god, I hope that person's okay." And they're like, "He's in the hospital. We don't really know how he's doing." By the way, like up some and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to our Patreon <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see more brutal attacks. Subscribe. I would love that, dude. We should do a ridiculousness where it's just people getting eaten by wild animals. <laughs> Can we play the sounds on the podcast? Yeah. Deep, uh, is this a deep throat or an elephant yeah. popping someone's head? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely Gianna Michaels fucking popping that past the throat barrier. <laughs> she broke the throat barrier. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Where'd you find that? Bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. EA Sports. It's in the game. Sega. So, uh, <laughs> I can't do that one. Sega. That was hard to do. Sega. <laughs> yeah, Sega. Do <laughs> I love that that was a mark, like an advertising campaign. Just like some white guy running by a microphone going, Sega. <laughs> <laughs> I love old video game advertisements. They're Hell so yeah. like the old Nintendo ones. It's there's one of like a Game Boy, and I swear it's just like a kid jerking off, like his hand is underneath his shorts and he's like jerking <laughs> off. He's like holding a Game Boy. <laughs> they also like all the old video game ads, they make everyone's mom out to be such a bitch. It's like, why don't you turn off your video games and go to bed? Your yeah, mom's a the, bitch. Play the, Sonic using, 2. <laughs> yeah. And the mom is usually like 80 years old. You ever notice that? They're always like yeah. old women. Always a great wig with big fucking glasses. I mean, yes. like, you should turn off your fucking video games. And like, shut up, mom. I have it. Just wait till I start masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> then you're really going to be hooting and hollering. <laughs> Fuck, man. I watched the movie oh. uh, Barbarella. Yeah. Have you ever seen that movie? I don't think so. I was with this. I was with somebody and they were like, uh, I heard Barbarella is a cult film. Uh, I'd like to see that movie because uh, I think I've a, heard that. Apparently it's a cult film and like cult film. It doesn't always mean it's a good film, right? No, it means like, like it can mean, yeah, it can mean a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's got a following. It's got a loyal following for some reason. And I can tell you right now, Barbarella is a cult film because it's got tits. It's got Jane Fonda's tits. Yeah. And it's psychedelic. Like <clears throat> if if you did acid in the late 60s and watch Barbarella, I get it. Like that's a yeah, that's a cult film. But yeah. watching it now as a are we millennials? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, watching it now as like a millenn like a sad millennial, that is one of the fucking worst movies I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. And Jane Fonda looks good in it and she's actually a good actress. Like I, immediately I'm like, oh, she's acting the hell out of this terrible fucking role. And, but Barbarella is one of the worst fucking movies I've ever seen. Damn. So uh, there's one Quite part. The scathing so, review. So there's one part in the fucking movie. So basically um, it's kind of like an apocalypse now scenario where the president of Earth, because Earth is has no violence anymore. They've, uh, you know, they've killed off all the minorities and there's only white people left. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and so everyone's uh, holding hands and being happy. I'm just kidding. But um, I, now it sounds like I'm doing coke. <laughs> I'm just eating <laughs> chips. I'm just eating chips. Well, you made it an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so Barbarella, right? <laughs> Anyways, she's he's like, we're going to send you some primitive earth weapons from 2121 to and it, it, she's supposed to like t like help retrieve this like doctor that stranded himself on a planet where things are still barbaric and she's supposed to go there and retrieve him right and it turns out that he's a bad guy he's a piece of shit the whole time right 
Right. But um, there's this one guy that she meets like early on in the film. And he's like this. He's basically wearing a bear costume with no hat, with no helmet. So he's just like bear costume, but with a man with a beard's face. And he's like, uh, she's like, well, how can I repay you? And he's like, well, we can make love, Barbarella. <laughs> And she's oh, like, I, I knew it was going to just devolve into. Oh, it is. I, feel, it's a I sex. feel like it's a movie. If they did a movie on like a Bond girl, it's a sex romp. So yeah. <clears throat> she's like, um, she's like, oh, OK, well, take this pill. And then he's like, I don't take pills before I make love, Barbarella. <laughs> he doesn't need and she's Viagra. Like, and she's like, well, how will you uh, telepathy? Like, how will you fuck me with like telepathy? And he's like, telepathy. I make love the old fashioned way, Barbarella. <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> what? That primitive way that is insufficient and not fun, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and he's like, yes, I do it old school. Something like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, oh, okay, well, if you must. And then it cuts to like, what, four hours later? <laughs> and Barbarella's laying on a fucking bed, like singing. She's like, oh. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and she just got dicked out like hardcore <laughs> and she's like her mind is blown and then she spends the rest of the movie trying to fuck every dick in the whole movie <laughs> she fucks she she fucks an angel like a twink a twink angel she's just raping people on this planet <laughs> she fucks chris angel <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, the whole movie afterwards, she's like, oh, she's had a taste of real dick. And now that's all she that's all she cares about throughout the whole movie. I think that's what makes it a cult film because she's right. very beautiful and she'll fuck anybody. So incels like it. Yeah. Everyone's going to like. Yeah. It's a crowd pleaser in that case. Yeah. Hell yeah. If you had it's to fuck via the mind with a pill, I don't think girls would ever have sex with men again. No. It'd be horrible. It'd have be you ever seen a man? <laughs> And especially a man's mind. You ever seen inside a man's mind? <laughs> it's basically, minds. basically Jeffrey Dahmer. Every man. <laughs> Every man. Every man wishes he could be Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> I think we've said that before in this podcast. And that might be the message that we bring to you. The media the is the message. Malcolm McDowell. That's <laughs> yeah, good. Good quote, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. We had an hour. Yep. <clears throat> yep. All Shout right. outs to our Patreon subscribers. Thanks, Patreons. Patrons. If you guys, if you guys want to hear the crazy, crazy stuff we're going to be talking, talking, talking about after, after, after this podcast, p -p 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 please g -g give us some m -m -m money. Yes. If you aren't a patron yet, come join us after hours where we're a little more spicy. It's a little... It's fun. It's more fun on the on the patron. Oh Patreon. yeah. Patreon. Oh yeah, yeah. Things get really out of control usually. On the Patreon, we it's like uh it's like a late night talk. We have like girls with big tits on and they show us the tits and we tell you what the tits look like. <laughs> We describe, we just, look, we just Google breasts. On we the Google internet. Susan Sarandon's tits from the 80s and we tell you about them. So if you want content like that, subscribe to the Patreon. And if not, like and subscribe. Keep listening. Yeah. Watch Spread our it around. Shit. Yeah. You know the deal. Yeah. Help us out. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. Good night, people. Good night. Love you. Mwah, mwah. 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 Mwah.